Coach Brandon here, and today we'll be talking about the ideal rate of weight gain. But first, I pose a question to you. Who wins in the muscle growth race, a, the tortoise or the hare? The tortoise referring to individuals that gain weight in a very slow pace, and the hare referring to individuals that gain weight very rapidly. We'll go ahead and look at two studies today that answer this question quite well. Now, the first study here was done on natural bodybuilders at a six times a week training frequency. Uh, they were divided into two groups. Group one was put in a very large calorie surplus, anywhere from four to 600 calories per day, while group two was put in a much smaller calorie surplus, anywhere from two to 300 calories per day. And the finding from the study was that group one actually gained three times more body fat with, vi with no advantage in muscle growth compared to group two. Now the second study down here by Garth and College in 2013 was done on elite level athletes such as track and field and they were also split in two groups. Group one was instructed to eat whatever they want, just try to gain weight. While group two, each met with nutritionists and were given individualized meal plans. Now it's important to note two things. Group two, by the end of it, they found that they were in a 600 more calories more per day than group one. And two, there's clearly a group with an advantage here. Group two, the ones that met with nutritionists. Now the findings of the study was that group two gained five times more body fat mass with only a slight advantage and muscle growth. And it was also found that uh, athletic performance tests such as jumping and running, both of which got much slower and lower in group two. So needless to say, large amounts of body fat gain when trying to gain muscle has some serious implications in athletic performance for elite level athletes. Though there's obviously even more implications to weight class athletes such as powerlifters, wrestlers, MMA athletes, because every gain, every uh, muscle of fat gain is likely one that you'll want to lose when it comes to performance time. Thinking about covers it for this topic, this is Brandon Morgan signing up.